Hey there, Mr. Thompson here with a uh, quick example video of a math problem. Uh, a friend of mine sent this to me and asked for some help, so I thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, we've got this problem that says consider the rectangle below. Its area is 7a squared plus 29ab plus 4b squared, and its length is 3a plus 12b as shown. Okay, so area and length. Find the width, right, in terms of a and b by dividing its area by its length. Okay, so the area of a rectangle is of course length times width, right? Um, now we don't want to. We're not trying to find the area. We're, we've given the area, and we need to find the width. Um, so what they've done here is they've said if we divide both sides by length, then we get our equation for w in terms of area and length. So we divide the area by the length. Now they've already told you that that's what you're supposed to do. So you just have to take that um, expression for area, 7a squared plus 29ab plus 4b squared and divide it by 3a plus 12b, right? So the question is how do we do that division? How do we simplify this um, uh, to get the simplest answer? This of course, this expression we have here is actually you know, it is an answer, but we need to simplify it um, by doing the actual division. Um, I think there's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to do it by um, using long division. So 7a squared goes in here, plus 29ab plus 4b squared, okay, under my division sign here, and then I'm going to divide by 3a plus 12b, okay? This is just a way to write it out so that you can do it methodically uh, and find the answer. So the first step is to divide our 7a squared by 3a. Okay, so 7 divided by 3 doesn't go in evenly, so we're just going to do 7 thirds. And a squared divided by a is just a. Okay, now I'm going to take that 7 thirds a and divide uh, and multiply it by the 3a plus 12b. So 3, 7 thirds a times 3a is, of course, 7a squared, which it better be. That's how we got it. Okay, and then 7 thirds a times 12b, so 7 thirds times 12, uh, well 12 divided by 3 is 4, so 7 times 4 is 28, and then a times b is a b. This is a plus. And um, so we're going to subtract that to find the remainder. Okay, and 29, the 7a squared minus 7a squared, that's, uh, those cancel out, those are that's 0. 29ab minus 28ab is 1ab, or just ab, right? Now I'm going to bring down my 4b squared next to my uh, ab, okay? And I'm going to repeat, I'm going to start over. So divide the ab by a 3a, okay? So ab divided by 3a, well, it's like 1ab, so 1 divided by 3 is 1 third, okay? and AB divided by A is just B, okay? Once again, I'm gonna multiply that by my um, denominator out here uh, and um, see if there's any, see if there's a remainder. So one third B times three A, the three and the one third cancel out, B times A is AB, which of course that makes sense, okay? And then one third B times 12 B, 12 divided by three is four, so four, and then b times b is b squared, and lo and behold, those are the same, so there is no remainder, which means that we are done, right? This is the answer. So we could go back up, and we might, you know, we could just say um, w equals that. We could write it in our little box here if we wanted to, uh, seven thirds a plus one third b. That's it. Hope that helps. Catch you later.